Which you guys got another video on how to clean install an NVIDIA GPU graphics driver on a Windows based system. We're on Windows 11, but it works for Windows 10 and other versions of Windows. If you're having an issue with your graphics, whether you're getting some sort of corruption, you may need to completely uninstall the driver and reinstall it. First, you'll need to find out what graphics card you have. You can do that in Task Manager under Performance. Click the GPU part at the bottom and it will tell you what graphics card you have installed in your system. You can see this is an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. We can now search for that on NVIDIA's website. Under the Drivers tab, you'll see a page open up and this will give you options to use the automatic driver updates. This one here, if you're updating your driver, you can use that. But we're going to be doing the manual driver download because we're going to be doing a clean install of our driver. So first you need to choose what graphics card you've got. This is GeForce. So we're going to choose GeForce. And in GeForce RTX uh, 40 series, this is for the 40 series graphics cards. Yours might be different. Now I'm going to choose what type of graphics card it is. It's the 4070 Ti. We're going to select that one right here, but there's other ones available here. Now we can choose our operating system. I'm running Windows 11, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that right here. The language is fine and click find. It will then go off and find our graphics card driver for us and it's gonna give us some options. You can see here Nvidia Studio Driver or the GeForce Game Ready Driver, depending on what you need it for. So if you're doing productivity and stuff, you may want to use the Nvidia Studio Driver but we're using it for gaming. So we're going to use the GeForce Game Ready driver here. And it gives you the version here, the release date and the file size of the driver. It's 691 megabytes. And we can view this driver as well by clicking on the view tab. And this will take us to the view page of that driver. Right here, you can see GeForce Game Ready driver. And now you get more details right here. Now, if you wanted to keep your drivers up to date automatically, you can use the GeForce Experience app, but we're just going to download and manually install this driver ourselves by clicking on the download button here. This will start the download process. Depending on how fast your internet speed is, will determine how fast this file will come down. But once it's down, we can click on it and start to install. So let's go ahead and click on this and we'll start the installation process. You'll see a little box popping up like this, click OK, and this will then start to unpack the driver so we can go ahead and install it. Now we'll talk about DDU and other applications that you can use a little bit later on in the video, and I'll explain why you don't always need to use programs like that. But here we have NVIDIA graphics driver here, and it's given us an option to install NVIDIA graphics driver and the GeForce Experience or just the graphics driver on its own. If you don't use GeForce Experience, then you can just install the graphics driver, click agree and continue, and this will give you the installation options. You don't want to be doing the express recommended options here because this is just going to upgrade your existing drivers and retains current NVIDIA settings. We want to use the custom because this allows you to select the components you want to install and provides an option for clean installation. So that's the one we want here. Now down the bottom here, you'll see perform a clean installation. A clean installation restores all NVIDIA settings to their default values and removes any profiles you may have created. So this essentially is gonna remove and uninstall all of the graphics drivers that were on the system previously and put a nice fresh clean install of your NVIDIA graphics drivers back on that computer. You will need to change some settings once this is done. So I'll walk you through that as well quickly, just to make sure that you've got all of your settings exactly the way you want them. So let's go next here and click next. And this will move on to the next page where it's gonna prepare the install for our graphics driver you will see it's going to be removing any previous versions and removing any graphics drivers that are on that system. So these will be taken away. So next up, once this is done, it will go ahead and then prepare to install our graphics driver. I'll speed this process up. You may get a few black screens now and again, but that's just normal for installing graphics drivers. From here, we can click close because our graphics driver has now been installed successfully and we can then move on to the next section. So once we click close here, 
the uh, GeForce Experience window may open if you installed the GeForce Experience driver as well. You will need to re-log in because it's removed all of those profiles from your computer. So if you wanted to do that, you can do at this stage right here. Now it's important you go to settings here and check all of the graphics settings inside gaming to make sure these haven't been changed by removing those uh, graphics card settings here. Once you're inside the display uh, graphics settings here, you can make sure these are all check marked here for variable refresh rates, optimizations for Windows games and hardware acceleration GPU scheduling. So make sure you've got that check marked here. Also, it's important that you check your refresh rate here by going to display settings by right clicking on the desktop and coming down here, making sure your resolution is correct. And a place that people do forget is this advanced display area right here. Now, because we've uninstalled our graphics driver, our refresh rate would have changed back to default, which would have been 60 hertz. If you've got a high refresh monitor like this one, you will need to change it back to the high refresh rate to make sure these are set to the way you like them, which is the highest refresh rate possible for better gaming experience. So with that done, you should be okay with those settings here, but it's important also to check your control panel, NVIDIA control panel, because all of the settings here would have been reset as well because we did a clean install. So you can right click on your desktop and go to show more options and then NVIDIA control panel. Inside here, you may need to reconfigure some of these settings that you like to use in here because these would have been reset due to the clean install that we just did of our graphics driver. So if there's any settings in here that you like to tweak and change, then this is the place to do it and you need to do it right here. We've already done the refresh rate and some other things, but you might have capped FPS and other things like that that you might have set in here, which all of these would have been reset because we've reset all of the profiles here. Now, also, we did talk about DDU, which is a display driver uninstaller. A lot of people like to use this to completely remove the display drivers using this display driver uninstaller, which is DDU for short. And it's very good at removing all of the included registry keys, folders and files and stuff like that. If you're having a major issue with your graphics driver, you can use that. Now, also, Tech Power Up do a tool called GPU Z. And you can use this as well to get information about your GPU and check temperatures and other things like that, which is quite useful as well. Now, there's also debloaters out there which you can use. If you want to see videos on any of this stuff, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. But this is a good place to check the BIOS and other things like that of graphics cards, especially if you're buying used graphics cards on eBay. This can be quite useful as well. And there's also the sensors area here, which gives you some thermals and stuff like that of the actual GPU and what's going on here and how much uh, power is being drawn on that card. Now, also, like I said before, if you sign into your uh, GeForce experience here, you can click on the drivers tab and it will tell you whether there's any driver updates. And you can even set this up to automatically update your drivers to stop you from having to go there manually and update them. And you can set it to game ready driver or studio driver and and it will keep those drivers updated for you a lot of people uh, don't like to use geforce experience for some reason uh, but i find there's no uh, issues when i'm using it so if you're one of those people that don't use that then by all means skip that part out anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.